What's up guys? My name is Tommy. I hope you're all having a fabulous day. And if not, then let's turn that around. So obviously you all clicked on this video because you saw the title. And yes, it's true. I actually did go to my first nude beach for the first time in my life. It was called Hallover Beach in Miami, Florida. And it was actually really fun. The beach itself is in North Miami and you have to park at a parking lot about half a mile from where the actual beach is because you don't want kids and families just stumbling upon this beach so you really have to search for it. It's actually along a major road so there are bunches of trees and bushes that are hiding the beach. There were tons of people there and nobody really gave a single fuck. Unfortunately for you guys there were no cameras there because you don't really bring cameras to a new beach just for privacy reasons. Gotta respect everybody's privacy. And I also think that YouTube would ban me for life if I posted a video of me with my penis out on a new beach. However, you can enjoy the footage of me in a speedo in the meantime because I do have that content for you guys. Looking at this footage, I do have to get a new speedo. I wear this cactus one almost every single day but I love it so much. The Speedo is from Sluggers, if anybody is interested. So anyways, why am I making a video about me going to a nude beach? So I never in my life thought that going to a nude beach would be something that I would do. But my friends were going and they said it was a really fun beach. This small little indie artist, Drake, says, you only live once. So I decided to follow the YOLO lifestyle and try this new beach. It ended up being a really good time and it was surprisingly not as sexual as I thought it would be. The entire point was not caring about what other people think and feeling free. People of all shapes and sizes, people of all genders, anything was possible at this beach and I saw everything. Now, I had been skinny dipping in the ocean before, but that was at night and that was after at least five alcoholic beverages. So this was a very sober, very explicit way of going and being free, expressing myself. This for me, it was very random and very not in my comfort zone and I totally took a step and said, you know, why not? I'm just gonna do it. It's kind of a humbling experience when someone like me is walking onto the beach and you see these super tan, tall men with six pack abs just looking incredibly beautiful and then there's just me with the palest, whitest, pastiest skin possible and walking around with my Birkenstocks. It's a really humbling experience, but you realize that people here really do take care of themselves. But one thing to note is that steroids are also pretty big here. So obviously I'm not on steroids, but I know of some people that do take steroids just so they can look bigger. So that's something that you'll find in Miami. All in all, it was a really fun day, really cool experience. Will I do it again? Not sure because I love wearing Speedos and expressing myself through the Speedos that I wear. I'm going to do a video of me getting some new Speedos and trying them on for you guys. But that was my story about me going to a nude beach and hope you guys enjoyed that. Did I see a lot of things? Yes. Do I recommend a nude beach to everybody? Probably not. Please remember to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. Thank you guys so much. I hope you all have the best day and I will be back tomorrow for another video. Thank you.